A car crash involving a Riverdale cast member has prompted SAG-AFTRA to launch an investigation over safety concerns on set. The cast and crew of Riverdale are busy in Vancouver working on season two, and as expected, the show demands some pretty long filming days and night shoots. News broke this week that KJ Appa, who stars as Archie on the hit CW show, was involved in a late night car crash last week. The crash resulted from KJ falling asleep at the wheel after a supposed 16 hour workday. KJ reportedly fell asleep during his 45 minute drive from the set to his home in Vancouver, and he was taken to a local hospital where thankfully he didn't suffer any serious injuries but his car was totaled after hitting a light pole. KJ's co-star Cole Sprouse was reportedly supposed to be in the car with him, but his plans changed the last minute. After recent deaths of stunt people on the sets of The Walking Dead and Deadpool, the safety on Hollywood sets has become a bigger concern. Sources have told The Hollywood Reporter that the show does not provide transportation to and from set for the cast, but the actors can call a taxi or stay in a nearby hotel paid for by the studio if they feel it is unsafe for them to drive which was also confirmed in a statement made by Warner Brothers Television. They said, quote, first and foremost, we are extremely grateful that KJ Apple was uninjured during his recent accident. Secondarily, we want to specifically address the characterization that conditions on the set of Riverdale are of concern. We have a large cast of series regulars, and our actors do not work every day. On the day of the accident, KJ worked 14.2 hours. The previous day he worked 2.5 hours, and the day before that he worked 7.7 .7 hours. KJ has repeatedly been informed about making production aware if he is tired or feels unsafe, and if so, either a ride or hotel room will be provided for him. Additionally, it is untrue that KJ was taken to the hospital. He was treated by first responders on the scene and released by them. We also sent a doctor to his home later that same day for a follow-up to confirm his well-being. According to other sources, because of the accident, many of the cast are now concerned about safety and approach to producers, and a supposedly a call between their reps and Warner Brothers executives is set for Friday to discuss the issue. Now, after news of the accident broke, sag after announced that they will investigate the set in Vancouver. In response to that, Warner Brothers issued another statement saying that safety is paramount to them and quote, productions adhere to the Screen Actors Guild mandated turnaround time for 12 hours from wrap time to next day call time for cast members. They also re-emphasize that it's been communicated to the cast and crew verbally and in writing that if they feel tired or unsafe to drive home, a taxi, a driver, or a hotel will be provided upon request. Now, none of the cast have directly spoken out on the accident, and it looks like they're just sticking to the grind of finishing up season two according to their Instagram stories and letting all the other negotiations take place behind the scenes. All I know is that I am happy that KJ was not harmed and that actually no one else was harmed because that could have been a serious accident. And I hope the matter gets squared away in a quick and professional manner. A reminder, Riverdale season two kicks off on October 11th. And if you want news on the possible new Riverdale spinoff based on Sabrina the Teenage Witch, click right over here. Or you can check out my interview with Liz Gillies from the new show Dynasty, which is going to air right after Riverdale this fall. If you like what you see, feel free to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And I'm Lisa. Thanks for watching.